following the video of where I overloaded a six amp RCBO that didn't trip uh, sort of nine amps or 8.4 amps, I think it was. This is gonna be testing it a little bit further to see if the cable melts first and the fuse will trip first and how long that RCBO six amp will hang on to sort of overcurrent when it's meant to trip at six amps. So let me show you how we're gonna set all this up. And I just wanna add quickly that this is under test conditions. I'm a qualified electrician, so don't try this at home. I also have a fire extinguisher handy just in case things go wrong. Things happen sometimes, but this is the test fault conditions to try to investigate the six amp RCBO. And this sort of test I wouldn't do on a premises that's sort of installed. This is sort of a test circuit that I've set up to be able to test it all, to see the cable melting. Because if, if I'm gonna put some cable under load where it can get hot or where it can deteriorate or cause a fire, yeah, I wouldn't do it in a property because you'll have to rewire it. I'm doing it because you can rip the cables out after to test to see what the effect of the overload has had on the cable. Because this sort of thing happens in a lot of, I don't know, electrical installations all the time. Someone might put a line circuit on and think, yeah, I could put a socket on that and it overloads the circuit. So overloading that circuit will deteriorate the cable. And this video is gonna prove it. But along the way, don't forget to smash that like button Eh, just in case I do catch fire, because that's going to be pretty funny-ish, I hope. So what we're going to do is come out of this 6 amp RCBO, come along in the trunk in singles. But what we're also going to do, we're going to dip it down into this, this conduit so I can see the temperature. And then if you look through here, this will point through to get the temperature of the cable inside there. So that's a 18.1 at the minute, so that's quite cool. So we'll do that as well, so we can get the temperature of the cable. And then we'll come through to a double socket where we'll plug in these wall mounted heaters, but they're just hung on there for now. So this is what's gonna draw the current to make the cable oh, overload basically, because you're not gonna be plugging a heater in 1.5 cable on a six amp RCBO. So first of all, what we're gonna do is wire it. What we're gonna, what we're gonna wire it in is 1.5 singles. So 1.5 cable can take up to 13 amps, but ideally in every scenario, we'll put it on 10 amps max, but that six amp RCBO should trip at six amps, ish. So what we're gonna do is come out the board. Well, we'll take the live neutral and earth out, Let's bring it along. Caught. That's it. Bring it along here, and we're going to have the live neutral and earth. Well, we'll have the live neutral and earth come straight into here for where we're going to put the double socket. But also, we want to get the temperature. So, we're going to get a little bit in there. Double it over, and then put it inside there, because inside a 20 mil bit of conduit, it should easily, I'll say outside, it should easily handle easily handle six cables. I know it's three at uh, three, but we've doubled it up inside there, so it should easily handle three cables inside there, so that's not overloaded. And then what we're gonna do is just terminate these into the six amp and put the socket on there. Right, so to this end, we're just gonna connect up the live, neutral and earth. And I have doubled them over as well, just to make sure that a little bit better connection. So we're gonna put them inside the earth bar on here. And then the neutral in first. And then the live, which will go into the front of the RCBO. And this is wired into the six amp RCBO. 
And so in effect, it shouldn't pull more than six amps. But this is what we're testing. And then on this end, we're just going to pull it inside a bit of flexi conduit. And then put a double socket on the end. Just so we can plug two heaters in for the load. Live neutral left, straight to the socket. So this 1.5 cable can pull up to 13 amps safely. But does it get hot? That's not really what we're testing. We're testing that six amp RCBO to see what speed it trips at. We want it to trip over. How long will it hold the overcurrent for? Like nine, eight or nine amps. We shall find out. But what we want to do as well to make sure that this is safe, I just want to check the live neutral and earth are good to that. So let's knock the board on. There we go. We're in. Beeping. Shut it up. And does it trip the RCD? Of course it does. So then, once this lid is off for now, all we want to do is plug the heaters in. Take this out now, we know it's all right. So then, this is what's gonna draw the load. So as soon as we turn that RCBO on, it's gonna start drawing a load. And then this will sense the temperature. So what is the temperature now? So the temperature now of the cable is 18.3. So that's 18.3 in there. So we'll see if it gets warmer. And this is where we're gonna do the stop clock to see how long it takes for this to trip. Just doing that so it doesn't go off. And I nearly forgot what we also need is our little clamp meter to see how many amps it's pulling. So we'll put that on there as well. See how many amps it pulls whilst it's running right so so we're going to turn it on for now so then the heaters aren't on so let's turn one heater on and we're pulling 8.5 amps oh stop that for a minute we're pulling 8.5 amps, so let's start it. It's over current already. So how long is it going to pull 8.5 amps for? Or can we make it trip by making it pull more? And that's the maximum it's going to pull for that one. Now it's pulling 11.5 seven five amps in my eyes that should have tripped already so let's give it some more so that's pulling 11.7 amps tripped 45 seconds that took to trip at 11.7 amps so it does trip on an overload and let's see if that cable got warm at all Nineteen point five. So it did warm up slightly, drawing a bit of current, but nothing to the excess. Now let's see how long it takes to trip, drawing just over six amps. That's drawing sixteen amps straight away. Should have tripped straight off. It takes a little while, doesn't it? Sorry about. So how long does it take if we just turn it straight on and it starts pulling 16 amps? 
Right, how long does it take? In my eyes, it should trip straight away. Right, so about four seconds. Yeah, it's not too bad. 0.4. No, four, basically four seconds it takes to trip. So reset that. Turn that one off. Now we've just got one heater running. So that's drawing 8.6 amps. How long is it going to take to trip? Let's find out. Some people said it could take up to 20 minutes. It's a bit long. But we'll leave it running to find out. 19.6 on the uh, cable, so that's the same. But that's still holding on 35 seconds. 8.5 amps, that's over six amps. It's a six amp RCBO. Should have tripped in effect, but we're gonna see how long it takes to trip. It's like watching paint dry. So that's gone over a minute of drawing 8.5 amps, which is rated for six amps. So it could be an overcurrent. 8.6 amps. It does work, it does trip, so we know that much. Still drawing 8.5 amps at three minutes. Who reckons it's gonna trip before five minutes? Drop it down in the comments saying five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Well, we've got another sort of 40 seconds. Well, if you put five minutes, you're yeah, just like me, you're wrong. It's still holding after five minutes. So you guys that said 20 minutes, you could be right. The cable in the conduit is heating up to around 20.4. Again, not a massively amount, so I wouldn't say that matters at all. 6.4 minutes, still going. Time to have a bit of lunch. 8.5 amps, still pulling after eight and a half minutes. 13 minutes and we're still going. And we have gone up to, on this, 21 centigrade. So it's gone up a little bit of warmth, but that's more likely because the heat is rising and slightly gone up. Nothing to worry about at all. So it's been pulling over the rated current on that RCBO for 15 minutes now. Makes you think, what's the freaking point? The only thing that makes you think is, is it gonna protect that circuit of six amps? Because I think a fire takes less time in, well, less time than 15 minutes, let's say. <clears throat> because if you buy a light fitting, that's possibly got one mil in it or smaller cables, 0 0.75. So this is why that circuit's probably rated at six amps. But this has got a 1.5. So yeah, I don't think the cable will melt, but it's not good, is it? Still 8.5 amps after 17 minutes. I don't think this is good. What is the relevance of it being rated as six amps if it doesn't trip after six amps. So that's over 20 minutes. Should have tripped by now. It shouldn't be pulling 8.7 amps for 20 minutes. What is the relevance of a six amp fuse if it's not gonna trip after six amps? Right, well, I've given up thinking it's gonna trip. So now I just wanna overload it again to make sure that it does work when it goes up. So yeah, if we stick 11 amps on it, it will trip. And then if we look at this, 22.9. And yeah, that's nothing. You can feel it's a little bit warm, but nothing to worry about whatsoever. So that's interesting. A six amp fuse won't trip after six amps. Is it the make? Let's find out. Right, so now we've put in a Hager six amp 
fuse, not an RCBO, just a six amp fuse. So let's see how this one goes. So if we turn this on, oh, we need a little clamp meter. Let's give it 11 amps. See if it trips. Should trip. Come on. It's a six amp type B RCB, RCD, RC, MCB. Right, that's tripped. But I didn't pull it 11 amps for 30 seconds, so. Right, now I'm going to try and pull it for. 8.4 amps that's pulling. I'm not going to leave it 20 seconds. I'll give it a couple of minutes. Because then in my eyes then, it will make me think that all 6 amp MCBs are like this. Every single one you put in will pull over 6 amps. Hmm. Should really be 11 amps. Because that's when it trips. 8.4, that's pulling on there and still not tripped. Can someone explain to me why? In my eyes, you've got a 6 amp MCB or RCBO. If it draws over 6 amps, it should trip. Hmm. I'm not going to do this again. That was boring last time. So a 6 amp RCBO and an RCD will only trip the overcurrent after 11 amps. It will take 8 amps easy. I'm trying to work this out in my head. If you know, leave it in the comments down below to try and help me understand because I don't know it all. 